Hi, welcome to another segment of What's for Tea with Tracy. Hope everyone's had a good week. Today, as I told you last week, we're gonna be making a Thai green veggie curry. Everything's in one bowl, takes about an hour to cook. It's perfect if you're time poor and you want something yummy and delicious. And yeah, and it's really, really easy to use. So we're gonna start doing our veggies. So we've got tomatoes, capsicum, zucchini, pumpkin, sweet potato, leek, and celery, garlic, and carrot. So first of all, doesn't matter what order you chop your veggies in, you just chuck them in. You just chop them. Really easy to do. It's just really, really great. Um, you know, good veg vegetarian option, really tasty, which is really, really good. I was thinking the other night, actually, I was sitting down watching um, Stan, I was having a glass of wine. I was thinking about our borrowers and I was addicted to Grey's Anatomy and I was thinking to myself, there's a lot of people out there that might not be able to afford the streaming services that, you know, are available like Netflix or Stan or Apple TV. And I thought to myself, some of you might already know, but some of you might not know about Canopy, which is our free um, streaming service here at um, Baronia Library, or SM Regional Library. Anyway, so I call it Netflix for library. So if you're interested in doing it, some of you might already have it, some of you might not, just go to our webpage, homepage, click on di um, digital and watch and listen and just go from there. It's really easy. If you need any help, you can always give uh, e-learners a call. Me at Baronia. There's Mario at Knox. Simone at Belgrave. Tanisha at Roval. Anna at Croydon. Um, yeah, and Erica at Lilydale. So if you need any help, I just thought I'd mention it just in case none of you know about it. So while I've been rabbiting on, um, I've just cut up a carrot, diced tomato. Now I'm going to dice some red capsicum. A tip that I learnt from um, Jamie Oliver, you just push that in and it gets rid of the membrane, like that. Okay, so we'll just slice this. You just slice it and dice it any way you want. It doesn't really make any difference the way you do it. And after we slice this, we'll slice our green capsicum as well. You know, chunks, doesn't matter. You don't have to be precious about it. Easy to use. Okay. Let's put this in the pot as well. Everything's really easy when it's all in the pot. Okay, we'll cut up our un green capsicum. As I said before, press it like that and it gets rid of the membrane so you don't get the seeds everywhere. Thanks to Jamie Oliver, who gave me that little trick. Okay, here we go. Um, another little tip, if you're a bit time poor, you can always dice the vegetables the night before and put them in a plastic container and just put them in the fridge. So all you need to do is just chuck them into the pot. So it's up to you, you can do it the day of, or if you're finding that you're running short of time or you know, you're a bit time poor. If you slice them right before you've got, you know, after you've done everything that you need to do for the night, just dice them and put them in the, in the fridge. Okay, our capsicum done. Put that in. Okay. Next, we'll get our celery. Just put the seeds that's on there. I've got um, three sticks of celery. You can put any veggie you want into it. Any veggies that you have at home. These are just the veggies I prefer, myself personally. Potato. It gives it a, a nicer flavour than just the normal potato. That's my personal choice. But if you don't have any sweet potato at home, a normal potato is fine to use as well. 
Okay, let's dice them in bite sizes. Next cabbie off the rank is an onion, a tip. If you don't want to get as cry cry with the onions, just run them under a bit of cold water. Carol was telling me that the other week. This is one of her chips. She was telling me that her, was it your auntie Caroline? Mm -hmm. Worked at White Crow Sauce and she used to cut the onions up. And she was telling me that they used to do it outside in water. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason why she stopped them from how many onions do you think she cut a day? Oh, hundreds. Hundreds. Can you imagine that? Gosh, now we've got machines for that. And Carolyn is a very smart lady. She actually buys hers pre-frozen and diced so she doesn't have this problem. But today I'm not crying because I took a tip and I run under cold water. Thank you, Carolyn and her aunt. There you go. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, no, not as bad as last week. Yep, yep, it works. All right, leek. So you just top and tail the leek. Like that. How easy is this? I mean, it's great. I just wanted to give you a couple of really easy, easy recipes for you to do during the week. If you're working, some of you might work full time, some of you might work part time, or have kids that you're gonna run around to go to all different things. So I just thought I'd do a couple of really good recipes or easy recipes that are quick. I mean, even if you knock this up while you're running kids to sport and stuff, chuck it in the oven when you come home, please ready. All right. We've got a zucchini here. I've got a big one, so I'm only going to use half of the zucchini to grate it. Grater, and you just grate it. Just like this. Everyone's got a grater at home. Just grate it all the way down. Now you see, I've got some broccoli here. I'm not adding the broccoli until half an hour after it's cooked, because so you put this in the oven for an hour, then after half an hour of cooking, you bring it out of the oven, stir it, and add the broccoli in. And the reason that being is because if you add the broccoli in right now, it goes all mushy and horrible. And But with half an hour, it keeps its shape and it's not too soft. You know how your grandma used to make your veggies and boil until they were water, basically? That's what happens if you put it in too soon. Okay. Just grate it until it's like a knob like this so that it protects your hands so you don't grate your hands off about this thickness. You just get your knife, scrape off, and then get your knife down there, the grater. And another tip that I gave you before is, so you don't get a lot of mess after you're cooking, you can just sort of clean as you go, things that you don't need, just you know, read some of the tap and put in the sink so you can either wash it or put it in the dishwasher. That way your workspace is nice and clean and not cluttered. Okay, pumpkin. We might not put all this pumpkin in because it's a big one. It's normally a small butternut pumpkin. I like it better than the camp pumpkin because it's got a sweeter flavour. So, do this off. A knobby, knobby, knobby. So we just cut the pumpkin and then we cut off the skin just like that with your knife. Carry on to come over here so I can do the next one so you can see how you just do it. You just put it on the side like that 
and then run your knife down like this. Like that. And get rid of it, the skin. And there you go. Last but not least, see, if Carolyn wants to come over, look how much veggies are in our pot. That will do a big family with leftovers. We're gonna add other ingredients to it, of course, to get some flavor. Last but not least, our garlic. So one clove of garlic, so that we slice it, into thin little things like this, and then we dice it. So like that, and the tip, as you get it all together into like a little pile and get your knife like that. You can use a garlic mixer if you want. This is the best way to do it. And eventually it gets diced. So you don't get a big flood of garlic when you're eating it. You be going anywhere, Mr. Garlic. See, as I'm getting in a pile, it's getting a bit more. Carolyn wants to come over. As I'm getting in a bit of a more pile, you see how it's getting smaller as I get it off the knife. Put it in the pile and chop, chop, chop. There we go. That's about the size you want it, or you can have it finer if you like. I'm going to wash my hands after this because I smell of garlic because I've been handling it. Okay, here we go. In the pot. Okay. Right, that's that. So I've got my handy jug here and we're going to be serving it with rice but we'll, once we pull the um, Casserole dish out of the oven to give it a stir. We'll put our rice cooker on because it only takes about half an hour to cook. And most rice cookers, they're a godsend by the way. Um, once your rice is cooked, it keeps it warm. It's a really good investment if for you know if you use a lot of rice. I it's a Cambrook one, but I've had this for years. You can get a really you can get them from Kmart, they're only about 19 bucks now, but I tell you, it's the best money ever spent. They save you so much time. Just chuck the rice in. Press the button, forget about it, come back, it's ready. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So, in my little rusty pot, I have, get the knife, teaspoon to be chicken stock. This is vegetarian chicken stock. It's made with all plant extracts. So it's good if you're vegan or if you're vegetarian. So we put a tablespoon of that. And this is the name brand of it, if Carolyn wants to get you. It's on the recipes that are available. Um, all the stuff that I do, you can get the recipes. And another one is vegetarian. This is a vegetarian stock. It's vegetable stock powder. A teaspoon of that. Tablespoon, sorry, tablespoon. Not a teaspoon, tablespoon, sorry. <laughs> and then a tablespoon of curry powder. I like Keens, there's also cloves from India. I use both. And a tablespoon of that. About a quarter cup of hot water, or enough just to make it into like a paste, and then you pour it into your thing. So you just stir it so it looks like this consistency. That's about a quarter of a cup. And we chuck that in, like that. And then the next ingredients is our Canton Thai green curry. It comes in a little pack, it's 200, it's 125 grams. 
Now you can use it, if you want to add chicken or anything, you can use this with chicken, but I like to use it just for a vegetarian curry um, because it makes it really nice. So we'll just put that in. Okay, here we go. I didn't like that. I've got this All right. And the last but not least ingredient that we put in is a can of coconut cream. Now, don't use coconut milk because it makes it too watery. Coconut cream is just the right consistency for this um, curry. Um, I'm using the Coles one because my son's vegan. And he says this is a vegan friendly one because he checks all the labels and everything. So that's why we're using this one. So we'll just put that in as well. Okay, so coconut cream. So I'll add that. And then we mix it till it's all combined. So we get our big spoon. Ah, look at that. Magic! Mixing all up till it's all combined. You might say, oh my gosh, that looks, you know, not the right consistency. Too thick. But as you cook it, because you're going to put a cover lid on it, it's perfect. Mix it all up. As I said, um, we're going to put the broccoli in after half an hour of cooking it in the oven. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Put it in for half, for an, you cook it for an hour, so put it in for half an hour. Come back, get it out, stir it, and then put the broccoli in as well, and then bung on your rice, you know, like in your rice cooker, or if you do it in the microwave, I don't know how long it takes in the microwave, because you're gonna serve this with rice. We're having this for lunch today, because obviously it's not, not tea time here, so I'm making this for all the girls for lunch. They're chomping at the bit, so that's their lunch for today. All right, here we go. So this is what it looks like once it's all combined. And then we just chuck it in the oven for half an hour, get it out, stir it, and then put the broccoli in and chuck it in for another half an hour and bob it to your uncle. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Carolyn. And I want to give a good thank you to Carolyn who's been doing all the filming for me. She's going to be my partner crying for these six weeks that we're doing all of this. So she's very good and very kind to do that. And she's a really good filmer. Hi, we're back again. We're just about to take the casserole dish out of the oven. It's been in there for half an hour. We're gonna add our broccoli in there, stir it, then add our broccoli and then bung on the rice. Okay, so Carolyn can come over so you can have a little idea of what it looks like before we stir it. Look at that. Isn't that, if only you were here and you could smell it. Okay, we'll bung in the broccoli. Okay. Stir that in. As you can see, the pumpkin's not quite cooked yet, neither is the sweet potato. That's why it takes about an hour. How's it smell, Carolyn? Um, well, I don't really like green curry, so it smells like curry. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, it smells wonderful. Righty, I will just get the lid, bung it back into the oven, and then we'll bung on our rice. As I said, I use a rice cooker. You can do your rice however you like, but this takes about 25 minutes in the rice cooker. If it's cooked a little bit, um, it doesn't take us long, it just keeps it warm. So I'm going to do two cups of rice. Long grain is what I use. I'm using the Woolworths Home Brand. You can use anyone you like. Okay, so you put in two cups of rice and then two and a half cups of water. One, two, and a half. Bung on your lid, press your button, good to go. When it's ready, it'll turn back to orange and it keeps it warm to when you want to use it, perfect. Okay, so in half an hour, we'll check the oven again and we'll bring it out and then we'll serve everything up. 
Okay, so we're ready to get our stuff out of the oven now. Our rice is cooked. As you can see, it's changed to um, orange instead of red, so it's keeping it warm. We'll just get our casserole out of the dish, out of the oven, I should say. Give it a stir, and then we'll dish up and show you what lunch is, or dinner is going to look like. So here we go. Here is our curry. Carolyn can come over and let you have a look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that beautiful vegetarian curry. All these beautiful vegetables. Nice sauce. Now we're gonna we're gonna dish up our curry. So what we'll do first, this is how I like to eat it. Get our plate, we'll go over and put some rice on the plate. Just a lid off. A bit of rice, like that, on the plate, just like that, lid on, and then we get a big ladle of our green Thai curry, just like that. A little bit of juices, and that is what's for tea with Tracy. Enjoy. I'll see you again next week at five o'clock. And next week we'll be making chicken parma with wedges. So join me then and have a lovely week. Look after each other and keep safe. Bye for now. Thank you for joining me. Ta-da.